Uh, this is Dr. Vineet from Simplified Triple Studies. In this session, I'm going to discuss the meaning of tariff in electrical engineering. What do you mean by tariff in electrical engineering? So we'll understand the basics of tariff. Tariff is nothing but uh, the rate at which the electrical energy is supplied to a consumer that is actually called a tariff. Suppose the electricity board, there are so many electricity board. For example, if I talk about Bengaluru, uh, K, like we can say like a BESCO. BESCO is one of the uh, like electricity, one of the government based electricity supplying company. They are going to supply electricity to uh, like a domestic customer and as well as industrial customers. So we, if I talk about like a BESCO, so they are going to charge the amount where the consumer is going to consume the electricity. So that is basically called a tariff. So Bescom is supplying electricity, consumer is consuming the electricity. How much amount of electricity is consumed by the consumer? Like based upon that, Bescom is going to charge. I hope you understood. So what and all the, for example, uh, I for monthly electricity bill, so I'm getting, for example, I'm getting 1000 rupees. So 1000 rupees is basically called a tariff. In that 1000 rupees, what are the factors which are covered? Yes, I'll be discussing the tariff comprises of the total cost of electricity production, total cost of supplying electrical energy and the reasonable profit. These are the three things which are included in the tariff. Bescom, it is it, uh, like the supplying electricity is very expensive, right? So it, it includes the cost of production. In the generating station, like we can observe, there are idle power station, thermal power station, nuclear power station, solar power plant. So those power station, power concept, like a production of electricity is costly, right? That, that cost has to be covered. Next is called a, uh, supplying electricity. So electricity has to be supplied from the generating station to customer side. There is a huge uh, transmission path that we are supposed to consider. There are elements in the transmission path, those things you have to consider. So th that means the supplying electrical energy. Ultimately, every in order to sustain, every company requires reasonable profit. Without profit, no company can sustain. For that purpose, the reasonable profit also should be included in the tariff. So remember that. Tariff cannot be same for all the type of consumers. There is a difference between uh, industrial customers and the domestic customer. So tariff will not be identical. Tariff will be depending on the type of customers. That is another important point. The major objectives of the tariffs are as follows. Number one, to return the cost and to earn the reasonable profit. Otherwise, no company can survive. To recover the cost of producing electrical energy at the power station because it is cost involved generating station, hydro power station, thermal power station, 100% is the cost of production electricity that is involved. Next is actually the recovery of cost of capital investment. For example, supplying company, they are investing huge amount for electricity production, electricity transmission because they have to recover those costs. Otherwise, they will be in bankrupt. Okay. So that is very important to recover the cost of operation and maintenance. That is another important thing. For example, metering equipment, cost of bill equipment, etc. Other one is actually to obtain the profit on the capital investment, to uh, gain the reasonable profit on the overall capital investment. So these electricity company, they are investing very huge amount for production, then transmission, distribution, those cost has to be recovered, else it is too difficult. Now I will be discussing about the desirable properties of tariff. It must have proper return. Also, it should be very fair. It should be simple to understand the common people also, it will have reasonable profit to sustain. Else, nobody can sustain without, without profit or without money. Then it should be attractive. These are the desirable characteristics of tariff. So, as far as your syllabus concerned, you need to focus on two-part tariff. Okay. So, two-part tariff, I discuss in detail. The remaining type of tariffs are simple tariff, flat rate tariff, block rate tariff, two-part tariff, maximum demand tariff, power factor tariff, and three-part tariff. We will discuss mainly on uh, two-part tariff. If you need other type of information, that also I can uh, explain in brief. So in this session, I discussed about what do you mean by tariff in electrical engineering. Later, we discussed that why the tariff we are going to study. What is the purpose of considering the tariff? Later, you study the objectives of tariff. There are five to six objectives. It is very easy to understand if you go through it once. And we studied the, like, uh, the characteristics of tariff. It must have proper return, fundless simplicity, reasonable profit, etc. are the like a desirable characteristics of tariff. Even we discussed about the various type of tariff in brief, very brief. 
லைக் சிம்பிள் ஃபிளாட் ரேட் பிளாக் ரேட் சூப்பர் டாரிஃப் மேக்சிமம் டிமாண்ட் டாரிஃப் பவர் ஃபேக்டர் டாரிஃப் இட்ஸ் ஆர் த வெரைட்டிஸ் இன் தட் வி ஆல்ரெடி ஸ்டடிட் அபவுட் சூப்பர் டாரிஃப் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் இட் சோ இஃப் யூ ஹேவ் எனி கியூரிஸ் யூ கேன் யூஸ் த கமெண்ட் பாக்ஸ் ஷூர்லி ஐ கேன் ரிவர்ட் ஈவன் யூ கேன் மெயில் மீ ஆல்சோ சோ ஐ ஐ ரிக்வெஸ்ட் இஃப் யூ ஆர் வாட்சிங் அவர் சேனல் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் ஐ ரிக்வெஸ்ட் யூ டு லைக் ஷேர் கமெண்ட் அண்ட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் ஓகே also i request you to share the same content with the stakeholders thank you everybody have a great day happy have happy learning wish you all the very best for your exam point of view